let's check your two-factor authentication on Facebook. Now, if you're on Facebook and you wanna make sure your account is as secure as possible, you can always turn on two-factor authentication. There are a bunch of different options. I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up the Facebook app here if you're on an iPhone or Android, or of course, you can go to facebook.com as well. Now, we need to get into the settings. So tap on your profile at the very bottom right. And then at the top right there, tap on the gear icon. Now that we're into the settings, you can see at the very top is the Meta Account Center. So let's hit this See More in Account Center. And you'll be able to scroll down a bit and you can see Password and Security. That's where we'll want to go. And then finally, we're at two-factor authentication, the second option. However, we need to choose Facebook on here. You might have to enter in your password again. Now keep in mind, there's not just a simple toggle on or off switch to enable all this. So it gives you a bunch of different options. This is how to get your login codes. You can get SMS text messages or WhatsApp messages to a phone number. You can always choose change phone number if you wanted to update that phone number to something different so that you'll get a text code to a different number. Now you can also go back and you can choose additional methods here and you can choose recovery codes. For instance, if you wanted to have some of these recovery codes to be able to log into your account in case you ever get locked out, you can basically just save these onto your phone to use at some other time. Now let's go back here. You can also enable an authentication app, security keys, and then at the very bottom is trusted devices. Now on all of these, if you already have logged in in the past, to a trusted device, then most likely Facebook will just recognize that you've already logged in and won't require you to go through the entire two-factor authentication process. However, if it's a new device that is not on this list here, then potentially they will require you to go through that entire two-factor authentication. They'll text you a code through your text message or WhatsApp, or you can use recovery codes or authenticator app or an email or anything like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.